Hello, my amazing fourth graders. Today we are going to get started on creating the background fabric for some embroidery. Embroidery is a wonderful technique that we can do with our thread and needle to create designs and patterns. Embroidery can take lots of different shapes and forms. This one is a radial design with lots of buttons and geometric patterns. This one features a beautiful flower in the center, which we will learn how to do. And this one is a nice linear sampler of some different stitching techniques, each of which we will have a turn to practice. Today, the first thing that we are going to do though is prepare our fabric with a tie-dye technique. We're going to be using permanent markers to add on color to our fabric. You can draw in a specific design or pattern. You can even just scribble on some colors that you enjoy. My suggestion though is to try and use analogous colors, which are colors that are neighbors on the color wheel. You can see here this green and blue blend nicely together. But when we add red and green together, it ends up with a little bit of a brown appearance. Let's look specifically at the steps of how to dye our fabric. You will be getting a piece of fabric and an embroidery hoop. Take a pencil and trace the inside of the embroidery hoop. Next, you're going to take some scrap paper. I would suggest taking three or four pieces and laying them underneath your fabric. Then, taking some of your analogous color of permanent markers, you can go ahead and color the fabric how you would like it to be. Using the thick side of your marker, that can help you to cover the fabric a little bit more quickly. It doesn't have to be anything super fancy. But if you'd like to take time to add a little bit more to your pattern, you are welcome to. For now, I'm just going to add on my marker in kind of a funky way. Once you are done with this, please make sure that your name, class, and number is also written on your fabric. You can write it with either pencil or permanent marker. Now, we are then going to be spraying our fabric with rubbing alcohol. I will come around with a rubbing alcohol spray bottle to place underneath your fabric and spraying the fabric with rubbing alcohol to make those colors bleed and blend together. It won't happen right away, but once we let it dry, those colors will begin to spread. You can see a little bit of the spreading happening here. For now, let's go ahead and place both our scrap paper and our fabric onto the drying rack. And next class, we will get it to put inside the embroidery hoop and begin some of our stitching and planning for that stitching. Okay, boys and girls, let's go ahead and get our materials and get started. <laughs> 